interest rate swaps the typical example that we hear about interest rate swap is like you know x and y are entering into an agreement wherein x agrees to pay fixed rate and y agrees to pay libor rate this is the example typically quoted to us but this is not the complete picture so i'll just you know uh, give you one complete picture about this interest rate swaps how exactly it works and how the participants get benefited from this so say for example company x is in need of a loan and it is approaching a bank so bank is offering two types of loan one is fixed let's say five percentage they are offering in this fixed one and floating they are offering LIBOR so this is a typical loan transaction so right now I'm speaking about a loan transaction between company X and your bank uh, company X approaching to your bank for a one million dollar loan now imagine this company X um, is a good trade worthy company they believe that the interest rate will come down in future they predict that the interest rate will come down so they want to go for so they want to go for uh, floating uh, rate okay they want to go for floating rate however they play a trick over here they want to go for floating rate however they will select fixed rate okay so they will agree to pay fixed rate five percentage so why do they do this after doing these transactions they will enter into an interest rate swaps so here comes the interest rate swaps so they will enter into an interest rate swaps with your swap dealer Typically, interest uh, investment bank play the role of this swap dealer. So the interest rate swaps agreement will go like this: that company X will pay LIBOR over here. So this is what they wanted to pay, right? They want to go for LIBOR, and in return, the swap dealer should pay something like 5.5 percentage. Typically, more than this 5 percentage. So you see how this deal works. They wanted to go for LIBOR. They are going for LIBOR. They are paying LIBOR. And they are getting 5.5 and they are paying 5 percentage. So in return or net net, they are saving 0.5 percentage in this interest rate swaps. Okay. So net net 0.5 percentage they are saving in, in interest rate swaps. So this is the reason why company X is entering into an interest rate swaps with the uh, swap dealer. Okay, so this is one part of the story. Now, again, further this story can be elaborated. Let's say now it can have another uh, part as well. Say for example, there is company company Y. Company Y also looking for a bank loan. Okay, and this bank is offering two types. One is fixed. Uh, let's say it is not a so very credit worthy company and so they are offering little higher rate of interest 8 percentage and floating is LIBOR plus 1 percentage. Now because this company is not so credit worthy and they believe that interest rate will go up in future. So they want something fixed. So they want to go for they want to go for fixed. However, they will select floating. So let's see how and why they do this. Okay, so how does this help them? So they are they are they are agreeing for floating rate, which is LIBOR plus one percentage to pay, and then they will enter into an interest rate swaps with this swap dealer, wherein they will ask the swap dealer to pay LIBOR. Okay, and they will agree to pay uh, something like you know fixed six percentage, let's say. So how does this side work out? See here, they are supposed to pay LIBOR plus one percentage and they are receiving LIBOR. So they are receiving LIBOR, they are paying LIBOR. So it doesn't matter where the LIBOR rate goes. If it goes higher, doesn't matter because they are going to receive and then they will pay it to the bank. Okay. And plus one percentage more they are paying. Now how that will be tackled? See, they are paying six percentage over here and you know one percentage over here so all in all their cash outflow is seven percentage so cash outflow is seven percentage they are not worried about LIBOR because they are receiving LIBOR they are paying LIBOR cash outflow is the six percentage and then this one percentage total comes to seven percentage so you see here they wanted to go for fixed if they would have directly gone for fixed with this bank they would have paid eight, eight percentage 
So this way company Y is saving one percentage because if they would have directly gone for uh, the fixed rate eight percentage right now the cash flow cash outflow is only seven percentage six percentage over here and one percentage over here. So this is the reason why company Y is entering into an agreement uh, uh, in, is entering into an interest rate swaps agreement. Okay, so company Y is saving one percentage. Now. How does this swap dealer get the benefit? Okay, now you see here, they are getting LIBOR, they are paying LIBOR. So no worries for the swap dealer. And on the other side, they are receiving 6% and they are paying 5.5%. That means 0.5 is the benefit, is the return for the swap dealer. Okay, so it, it helps all the participants you know, be it company X or swap dealer or, or company Y. Uh, okay. Otherwise, when we learn, we are taught only about one part of the story that is, you know, mostly like this. Only this part, like one party entering into an agreement with another party wherein they, they pay fixed, they receive floating. Only this part is, is normally told to us. This is the complete picture of how interest rate swaps works. Thank you.